Hello, this is Vincent Raduga, and this is the show where intelligent people like you come find the tools to change the rules. So welcome back to the show. Today we're going to be having an interesting show, which is going to be a mix of a number of things. Uh, our guest today is going to be Warren Whitlock, the um, uh, social media expert, and I'm thinking that you're going to really be um, learning quite a lot of information from him. We're going to be having James Ramco with his advanced uh, business strategies, and I have a number of different tools and a number of different apps that you're going to really enjoy. So let's get started with the first section of the show, which is going to be handy bookmarks. Welcome back to Handy Bookmarks. Today I have a number of very, very interesting um, websites that I want to show to you, but instead of me telling you about them, I want to actually show you the uh, websites because, of course, some of them need a little bit of explanation. So let's just get started with the first one, which is going to be FileCrop, and you will, fi you will find this website at FileCrop.com. This is very interesting because FileCrop is a search engine for shared files. So basically, you can just enter the name of any file uh, that you possibly might be looking for on the search engine and you will find uh, someone somewhere that is actually sharing this file. Now, I have to warn you, uh, I am not sure how uh, legal actually these files are shared, so make sure to use these um, uh, handy bookmark with precaution and obviously, I mean, you are the, you're going to be the one which is deciding uh, if it is actually uh, good or not good to actually download this file. However, I thought that it would be a good idea for you to know about this website, which I think it's very, very interesting. Now, let's go to the next website, and this website is going to be quickonlinetips.com. Quick Online Tips I really like, and I actually visit it quite regularly. I actually I am on their um, uh, mailing list. It is great. It is full of tutorials. It is full of information about Facebook, Twitter, uh, computers, uh, WordPress, blogging, all sorts of amazing information uh, that you can find there, full of tips, full of great uh, resources. And uh, I tend to uh, come to this website regularly if, you, of course, you want to increase your Internet intelligence. So I think that's a very, very uh, good website to visit. Now, the next um, uh, websites that I'm going to be telling you about, I have to, first of all, uh, tell you how this is used. So this is very, very important. So right now we are in the AmazingWebsites.tv uh, site where you're possibly watching this episode. And uh, basically the way that this works is we are right now, this is the um, URL from this specific uh, episode. So I'm going to cut and uh, then I'm going to go to this website which is called Pingler.com which is absolutely great. We're going to put it into here, into uh, I mean the URL. We're gonna put it there, and we're gonna uh, type the keyword. So um, the keyword is YouTube marketing strategies. So uh, YouTube marketing strategies, and then we're gonna say it's gonna be on business, and um, we're gonna say that it's going to be also in. Uh, internet and online so and also in marketing so those are going to be the categories in which we're going to actually be uh, uploading this we're going to fill up the catcher so which is lj6 uh, c4g and then we're going to press the button that says ping and uh, guess what the um uh right now it's just initializing the pings is basically letting a lot of different search engines and a lot of different uh, blogs and uh, all sorts of uh, other places on the internet that you have now a new post 
on your blog, which is very, very useful. This is another tool that I really like. Now we're going to go to the next page. You can see how it is actually done. We're going to go to the next tool that I really enjoy. It's called indexkings.com. We're going to also put the uh, URL of uh, the same post that we're going to be having. We're going to say, yes, please uh, access the complex URLs. And then what is very interesting is that we will see that it's going to actually, we're going to click here where it says a rapid index and is going to start submitting our link to a number of different websites uh, so that they will be actually indexed. Uh, so that is that is very, very, very good. I have been using this tool and it really works out very, very well. So I'm sure that you're going to find that very, very interesting. And um, very last thing that we're going to be uh, uh, that I'm going to be showing you this time is we're going to go to a website called Pink Farm, and uh, here on Pink Farm you can also find a uh, um, uh, you can also do some pinging there. But this, the the tool that I like is this one that is called Link Check. Pro. So basically you will put a domain and then you will put the scan and it will actually find if uh, so I mean who who is actually linking to your website or if you're um, uh, I mean if you're actually trying to find out how many links you have on your website you will be able to find them using this tool. So uh, this is pretty much the end. I hope that you enjoyed these handy bookmarks and now it's time that we go to the next section of the show. James Schramko here with some business tips. It might be time to check your merchant rate. However you're processing your money in your business, whether it's uh, offline with checks, with uh, credit card swipey machines, whether you have an online facility, go and have a look at the rate and ask your provider if that's the best rate. What else can they do? I've recently changed mine and also over time I've asked for PayPal to reduce their amount. I've uh, got a better rate from my bank and when you speak to your manager, Quite often they'll cut you a better deal, especially if you have a very, very low refund rate and if you're putting through high volume, you should be getting a better deal. Because over the long term, over hundreds of thousands or millions of dollars, the small percentages add up to a big amount. As the saying is, small hinges swing big doors. So you can imagine over three or four years, several million dollars, uh, one or two percent is enough to buy a car. Okay, so if you have a local business and you have customers, consider putting on a small seminar and it could be just two people or three people or four people. I've run a workshop with me and another guy training two people and I think we charged like $2,000 per person. It was $4,000 for one day. The two people got amazing training and we learnt a lot about the process of delivering the content, about helping that person get a result. They went on to have amazing success but it's the minimum viable workshop. So start small, scale big. When you pay for a course, when you join a mastermind, when you buy a product, you're not paying for the product to someone else. You are investing in yourself. So get the best value from it. Make sure you consume the information. Apply the information. Otherwise, the only person who is getting rewarded is the person that sold it to you. Really, the reward should all go to you. Invest in yourself and get the knowledge and implement it and leverage your abilities and you will succeed faster than if you just pay the money. You don't get the result unless you do the work. Okay, here's what you should ask yourself all the time. Is what I'm doing right now the best use of my time? I'm James Schramko. I hope you've enjoyed these tips. If you're looking for the next level, uh, go and register at silvercircle.com and pre-register for my mastermind group where we talk about these things every week. This is the summary of some of the things we discuss each week. I look forward to catching up with you next week.